In addition to last year's 21st overall pick Christian Brown being a rarely influential rookie contributor to the Denver Nuggets winning the 2023 championship, 2022's undrafted free agent pickup of Peyton Watson had his moments as a lockdown two-way player during the regular season. And now, in this year's draft, GM Calvin Booth selected a sniper from Gonzaga with pick number 29 that drained a game-winning dagger in the NCAA Tournament Sweet 16. Chances are you'll get more than one opportunity. Hawthorne for the lead. Oh, the Denver Nuggets' young beasts are getting intimidating. And given they've already got a core of assassins centered around Jokic, Murray, Porter, and Gordon, that could be devastating for the 23-24 campaign, as well as into the future. Julian Strothers, a 6'7", 200-pound pure shot creator with ambidextrous finishing and shooting range that stretches out well beyond the pro-level three-point arc. At the NCAA level, he developed from a 3.4 point per game score and 32.1% three-point shooter as a freshman into a junior who averaged 15.2 points and made 40.8% from deep. His hefty college experience for the Bulldogs makes him an NBA-ready choice as opposed to a developmental project ideal for a team looking to repeat as world champs. How Strother's capable of routing off-ball screens makes him a great fit for the advanced system in which Mike Malone runs. How he uses flares and pin downs by moving through them on the correct angle while catching and simultaneously finding the appropriate lower body foundation allows him to get even more space than his high arcing quick twitch release already creates. He's far from a pure sharpshooter, but what makes him a pure shot creator is that he's adept at penetrating on the catch and getting leverage for his utterly polished float game. Based off the fact that he can knock down heavily contested floaters, as well as the fact that he's an elite two-level scorer from that area and from distance, Julian's rookie point per game average could easily be in double figures. Of course, easier said than done with the limited minutes he'll be getting in a championship Nuggets rotation. The upside with this kid is definitively limitless when you take into account that at nearly 6'10", he can cross half court at 100 miles per hour, then quickly shift gears for in and out crossover combos before transitioning into contested deep range bombs on the move. While he is capable of stopping on a dime from nearly half before pulling up from distance and pulling off magical one-on-one -on -one creation in general, Strother's buy-in to being a high volume spot up guy who can mix up said catch and shoots with backdoor cuts is who Denver with the likes of offensive initiators like Jokic and Murray will need Julian to be. Considering Julian had no issue being that type of offensive connector next to Drew Timmy and the Zags for three years, that should be a relatively smooth role for him to accept. With Strother's lethal mix of mechanically fundamental yet expeditious shooting and the fact that he's a wiry 6'7 with all-star upside offensively, it's kind of surprising that he wasn't at least selected in the top 20 of the 2023 draft. What you like about this kid is that he doesn't go outside of himself in terms of his abilities. He's really good at baiting three-point shots on the catch before getting into the heart of the lane, and if the defense sags off, he'll take what's given to him. You're not going to see Julian over-dribble too much. You'll just about never see him take contested mid-rangers, which is the least efficient NBA shot anyway, as he's going to stick to what he knows how to do, that being release quick twitch daggers from distance and mix that up with floating attacks. But what Julian will be tasked with in Denver isn't the typical outline for a first year player. He'll have to contribute to winning right off the bat if minutes are going to come his way. Rookies making an impact on a championship team is something few and far between throughout the 76 year history of the NBA. Spanning back decades and you have guys like Manu Ginobili, Kevin McHale, and most prominently, Bill Russell and Magic Johnson. In terms of in my personal decade plus of watching the NBA, aside from maybe Norris Cole of the 2012 Heat, what rookie Christian Brown provided for the 2023 title winning Nuggets was something I had never seen before, a first year player being a crucial component to a championship roster. Veteran Aaron Gordon spoke on the sparse production from Christian, saying, That's a rare rookie right here. From day one, he's been on top of it. This is a real winner right here. I say that because he's always in the right spot, he's in the right place at the right time, and he's been doing that all year. 
Gordon is spot on mentioning that Brown's a real winner considering Christian's basketball resume includes three high school state championships, a national title with the Jayhawks in 2022, and now an NBA chip. In game three of the finals to help put Denver up 2-1, Brown scored 15 points in 19 minutes. Not bad for a rook on the biggest stage. Christian was productive all playoffs long either with his intensified defensive clamps or simply his ability to play in the dunker spot slash get out in transition with forceful springiness. Given the chemistry it takes as a collective unit to win a ring, it's rare for a title winning roster to have one rookie let alone two. However, with Peyton Watson in addition to Christian Brown, that's exactly what Mike Malone's roster had. With a beastly 7.5 foot wingspan and 33.5 inch vertical jump, the UCLA product Peyton Watson ended up working his way into the title winning Nuggets rotation directly before the playoffs hit. By April, albeit in a limited 21 minutes per game over 5 outings in which the Nuggets lost 3 of, Peyton found a way to average 1.6 blocks, 8 points, and 4 rebounds per night. Watson's on-court development, unlike Strother, who's a more polished NBA-ready guy, will be an annual process, but as a mere two-way hustle-type dude, Peyton showed flashes of excellence. More importantly, Watson's ego wasn't inflated in the slightest bit, and he was always high energy in terms of celebrating the successes of both his fellow rookie in Brown, and of course, the main core of talent. While the soon-to-be rookie in Strother, and the soon-to-be sophomores in Brown and Watson, usually take a back seat in terms of Denver Nuggets videos on this channel, I thought it was important to break down how rare it is for them to be either contributing on the court or to the team chemistry by being on such a successful roster initially. Just 14.6% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.